Ay. Wanted to take a minute <clears throat> and talk to you about the benefits of the pitfalls, I guess you'd say, of lease purchase programs. I had a guy send me a email the other day and ask he's heard about lease purchase programs being referred to as fleece purchase programs and are they legit or are they just a scam and I would I would say two things number one uh, there's true about both some are scams some are legit it's your job to kind of sift through, ask the right questions, read all of the information, uh, have a full understanding before you take the leap. But then at the same time, you know, some are legit and uh, are a, a, a true path to owning your own truck. You know, for example, I don't know the details about how their programs work, but I do know a few people that have actually bought their truck through John Christner. And I know that at the end of their lease purchase agreement, they had a $1 buyout. <clears throat> I, I also know, I've spoke to some of these individuals who are with R.E. Garrison, and at the end of their lease, then uh, Garrison, there's a local bank that Garrison works with to get the truck financed for the for the buyer, for you, the lease purchase guy. And Garrison guarantees the loan to the bank for that driver. Um, and at the end, you know, when that loan is paid, then you have the title to the truck. And so there are there are some legit ones out there. And then there's others who they, they have these lease purchase programs in place just to have people go out and make their truck payments for them. You know, it's sad to say, but it's true. So the answer to, to, to that question, yes. Yes. Some of, some of these lease purchase programs are best referred to as lease purchase because, you know, you don't have a hope nor a prayer of ever owning that truck. And others are, yes, they are legit opportunities, a legit pathway to ownership. Now, I will say this as well. You, you can't, you never know what the future is going to hold. And your situation may change. Your family situation may change. So having the ability to walk away from something for some people may be a good thing. You know, for other people, you, know, you may not have a choice. You may have to stick it out whether you like it or not. And it all goes back to you doing your own research and finding things out for yourself but I, I believe that you have to understand there are when you enter a lease purchase agreement there are two agreements in, in reality it's two agreements one is you're leasing the truck from whomever the leasing company is that the trucking company uses, or in most cases, the, co the trucking company, the carrier, has created this separate company to be their lease company. And then you have another agreement where you're leasing that uh, truck that you just leased, you're leasing it on to them as the carrier. And so you, you, you have to see it as two different agreements. During the term of your lease, in most cases I, I can't think of one that it that it was different so I'll just say most cases you have no 
security interest in that vehicle. You you you're you're making these payments, but you don't own any of it. Okay, you, you're not you're not putting money into purchasing that truck because you're leasing it. At the end of that lease, you'll have the opportunity to buy it in most cases, and some of them they put what I'll call a I don't want to sell it price on there. So they'll make it. You know, let's say the truck has 400,000 miles on it and they want to sell it to you. Uh, it's a three-year-old truck, three-and-a-half-year-old truck. It's got 400,000 miles on it or more, and they want to sell it to you for 90 grand. That's an I don't want to sell it price. They want, they, they, they want to keep you on the hook, keep you in a new lease. So they want to want you to fulfill this lease and then move on to another lease. So they can keep their inventory fresh with new vehicles, and you're paying for them. So, you know, it's it, it, it's something I can't stress enough. You have to understand what it is that you're getting into. You know, I've I've said it a thousand times if I've said it once. But to answer that question, yes and yes. Uh, But I need to get off of here and get rolling. I got places to be and things to do. So you guys take care. I'll see you later.